many of you know we have Visual Inverse coming up, which is January 17th. And it is 22 or 24, I can't remember what we ended up with. I think it is 24 now. 24 now? Okay. 24 poets who are going to be interpreting a piece of visual art. So it's always a great afternoon. Um, 100 plus people come for the event and the artists are here as well. So everybody gets to share in sort of a, you know, collaborative effort. <coughs> reason I preface that is, first of all, to let you all know and to remind you that it's coming up, and also because my poem that I'm reading right now is my um, acrostic piece from last year's Visual Inverse. Oh. The um, piece was sunflowers, lots of oranges, lots of yellows, lighthouse, so. <clears throat> earth, air, fire, earth, water, air, fire. There is a flare in the belly of our sky, yours and mine. We are standing in the shadow of the bale fire. Watery tributaries snake around us, whisper omens with fluid voice. Your bare feet root themselves in sand. I miss the sunflowers who would lift their faces to raw. Gods have such little power to save when the burning begins. Van Gogh left us his struggle in bold colors, too. In the midst of his blazing fields, he left us with desolation, head in hands at eternity's gate. Listen, it doesn't matter how many stairs there are to climb. There is only the climbing, the continual climbing, the twisting and turning of the steps, and a light that beckons, that warns, that guides the flare that spins like a wheel inside our gut, where we are rent open. Fears sling us between the land and the heavens, between mind and body, birth and death. Let the flames lick the horizon, speak their tongues, summon all that consumes the dark. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you.